Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to very quickly go over the Manjaro GNOME 19.0 new release. The last look of the Manjaro I done, I kind of left GNOME out, so I'm going to hopefully get to the other two tomorrow, the XFCE and the KDE, but for tonight I'm going to start with the GNOME version. So here in the release info, we're just going to focus on the GNOME for now. So, uh, based on 3.34 series, includes the visual refresh for several applications and the desktop. The desktop does look very nice actually, it's been a while since I've looked at their GNOME desktop but that is pretty clean, I like it. Um, making it easier, also the background selection settings also received a redesign making it easier to select custom backgrounds. By default we've added our own dynamic wallpaper that changes throughout the day. GNOME 3.3 also introduces custom folders in the application overview, yep yeah, we've seen that. Our new GNOME layout switcher, right, so this is what I'm quite keen on having a look at. As I say, I didn't look at it, the uh, sort of the beta releases or anything of 19.0, so this is all going to be quite fresh for me. It's becoming a norm, isn't it now, sort of distributions having a layout switcher. It's going to get to the point where it seems weird that a distribution doesn't have one. So what are the layouts they let us have? Manjaro, Vanilla GNOME, Mate slash GNOME 2, Traditional Desktop slash Windows, Modern Desktop slash Mac, Unity and Ubuntu theme. Very nice. We've automatically changed between dark and light theme when night light is triggered, a new theme for the login screen and an addition of Feral's game mode roundup of our gnome edition. Nice. Right, we'll look at the login screen board towards the end. So what I'm gonna start with is the layout switcher. So I do believe it's probably in here and let's type in layouts, there we go. Right, let's minimize this for the moment. Okay. So we're currently on the sort of default here, which is Manjaro. We're going to check them all out. So let's go for traditional and click apply. Okay, what we're going to do as well is we're going to open up tweaks. And you can see what's happening to tweaks as we've done that. So that's probably done dash to dock, dash to panel, sorry. Desktop icons, right, okay, let's switch to Unity now, my favourite. Right, and then let's close tweaks and open it again. I just want to see what they've done. And then we'll have a look at the layout. So in the extensions now, it's got an arc menu, which I've heard that they've now also made a bit more Unity-like. Oh, look at that. So if I was to type in, get it, enter, and that'll open it up for you. I wonder if alt does anything. No, wishful thinking. Um, there's a bit of a weird overlap here that you can probably refine a bit so what have we got it's using dash to dock so that's dash to dock on the left and we could sort of change it about a bit if we wanted to make it a bit smaller etc and unite here we go unite is a gnome shell which makes a few layout tweaks to the top panel so the top panel is more unity looking like yeah I can see that actually very nice okay let's just see how it minimizes things yeah all good right let's go to the next one Let's close that so then we can open it again when the tweaks have changed. So modern, this is their Mac fill, so it's going to be a sort of a dash to dock on the bottom sort of thing. There we go, there's your dash to dock. Oh, what's happened to tweaks? There we go. Huh, tweaks has gone a bit crazy now. Okay, let's close tweaks. It's gone a bit Unity-like, isn't it? Ah, let me go back to Unity a minute. I didn't look at a full screen application. Let's go to Unity again. Right, let me full screen that. There you go, and you get your minimize, maximize, and close all at your top left like you would on Unity as well. Right, let's go to modern and see if it f works without having to do a reboot. We might have to do a reboot though. I've noticed this with certain sort of, yeah, we're gonna have to do a reboot because it's gone a bit crazy with the, um, still thinks it's in the Unity sort of thing. But before we do that, we'll have a look at the other ones quickly. So GNOME, so just standard GNOME. So when you open it up, you'll have your thingy here, dock, whatever you want to call it, and then you have your workspaces there, and then mate, let's have a look at mate, nice, <laughs> okay, has that put our, um, our applications back to normal, let's open tweaks, there we go, so that's put that back to normal, we won't bother doing the restart just yet, so let's go into extensions and see what that's done, so it's still got arc menu there, no it doesn't, where's arc menu then? Oh, I don't know. So up here now you have the same sort of thing that you'd have on mate. Categories that you can scroll through and places there so you could jump to home or any other folder that you have there. Right, let's put it back to Unity and hopefully 
we won't need to meddle with things to get it to work properly we might need to do a restart uh, there we go it's lined it up much better now so if we close that that looks very nice I'm going to be leaving on that I'm just going to make this a bit smaller so let's go back into tweaks and then go into our extensions here um, and that is dash to dock so we just want to make dash to dock a bit smaller um, let's go to the icon size and make it 24 there we go perfect I do love the fact that they're all getting unity layouts as well brilliant right I'm just gonna see what it comes installed with now as I say I haven't used this version in a long old while so you've got caffeine out of the box as well do you also have the extension the name extension yeah do you let me have a look so in the extensions let's just go through this one by one actually and then we'll look at the application so you've got app folder management extension you've got applications menu arc menu auto move windows dash to dock dash to panel desktop icons gs connect which is kde connect basically or for gnome in an extension you've got a caffeine cup up there i think it might have the i don't know if it does have the extension let's keep going You've got horizontal workspaces, case status notifier, launch new instant, native window, night shell switcher, automatically change the gnome shell theme to dark variants, very nice, night theme switcher, open weather, PAMAC updates, in indicator, places indicator, unite, yeah a lot of extensions there like you'd expect though because of the desktop switcher that's it's going to be utilizing switches like that. So we're just going to have a look at the applications and then we're going to go through the notes again just to see what else is new. So caffeine calculator, calendar, gnome disks, evolution for your mail, empathy, chat, cheese, files will be Nautilus, LibreOffice, so you can choose which office you want in the installation, Libra or FreeOffice, Lollipop music player, um, transmission, time shift, does it have Deja as well? No. So you've got time shift there, so you can take system snapshots, to do, transmission, torrents, tweaks, you get videos and weather. Right, I'm not going to go into that bit too much, let's go back to here so the wallpaper switcher let's have a look here display settings so let's go to background right so as you can see there they've got their own one automatically that changes throughout the day adding a picture i don't have any pictures to add but you just do that and let's change to see what other ones they've got here let's, what's this one let's have a look set background ah quite like that right what else have we got here Unity theme, we automatically change the dark and light theme when night light is triggered. So I've turned night light off just for the video, but let's turn it on for a minute. So there's night light for you. you save your eyes a bit. Let's turn that off though. Disable until tomorrow. A new theme for the login screen yet. Yeah, we'll have a look at that. Um, if, I'm sure you've all seen the, um, the sort of folder things where you, you do that. And then if you was to empty that out just take one out and then the last one and then that will close that folder okay presets mini begin popular operating systems right let's have a look at some of the applications in because it sort of says things have been redesigned a bit it looks beautiful with this unity layout what version and name of uh, firefox are we rocking let's go to help and about version 73.0.3 where's the latest version of firefox quick look 73 nice let's see what liberal office looks like on here as well let's open up writer very nice let's close that so this is version 6.3.4 i think there's a f i think there's a 6.4 version out now actually um for some reason our close buttons are now up here so let me just full screen another application so where's Right, I think we will do a restart because unless that's where it wants it to be, but I wouldn't have thought so. We're going to do a restart that way we can check how much RAM it's using at boot as well and hopefully get a bit of the login screen. So I'm just going to pause the video. Right, and here we are at the new and improved login screen. Very nice and clean. I apologise for the poor camera quality here. My capture card just didn't want to play ball on the login screen. So I've done this for you as a compromise. As you can see, they were using about 829 megabytes of RAM at boot. CPU utilization is what it should be, and everything seems to be running okay. I'm going to be taking a look at the other editions over the next coming days. That's XSE and KDE. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.